you will always manifest what you're conscious of. But today I'm going to share with you three steps, three specific things that you can do right now to begin to manifest in your physical existence the things that you desire. Like energy attracts like energy. If I've said it once, I've said it a million times. The number one step, the number one key here today to begin to manifest what's been in your imagination is to be on purpose. Be on purpose. You see, the vast majority of you that are watching this video are probably just going through the motions. It's, it's like when I ask you the question to write down three things that you want, if you were to write down right now, write down three things that you want, the vast majority of the people that write down the three things that they want are not specific at all. And they matter of fact, a lot of times they can't immediately come up with something. The reason why is because they're not necessarily living on purpose. Most people have a routine. They wake up in the morning, they get some coffee, get some breakfast, go to work go work to 8, 10, 12 hour a day, come home, watch some TV, go to bed, they do this on the weekend, they might go to a bar, go out for a restaurant, go on a date, something along those lines. This lifestyle, the American dream, right. That is not a dream, it's called the American nightmare, if you ask me. <laughs> but this American dream lifestyle, whatever we're gonna call this thing, American nightmare, is not really what anyone wants to create. They weren't told before they went to get their four years of school that this is what their life was gonna look like. And now you kind of feel stuck. You wanna manifest real success and real wealth and, and real happiness, but you're really struggling with the how to. The very first step, once you begin to practice the stuff from the other videos and really get it seared in your imagination and really begin to develop this burning desire, so on and so forth, is to be on purpose. You must start acting as if you're on purpose. So I'm gonna ask you this question. What are you focused on? Here's how you know whether you're on purpose. What are you focused on? And you might say, well, Silas, I'm working 15 hour days. I ain't got time. You always have time. When you get home, if you really have developed that burning desire, if not, check out this video. But if you get home throughout your day and you're like, I really want to um, I really want to attract to me the love of my life, or I really want to attract to myself um, a wealth, but you get home and you're cutting on the TV and you're watching some sitcom for three hours before you fall asleep, then you really don't want that. You're not living on purpose. Be on purpose. What you focus on, where you put your energy is what you're going to attract. What are you focused on? If you're just going through the motions of living the way that everybody else is, the American nightmare, <laughs> then that's what you're going to get. Don't be random. Be specific. Give your energy, the energy of your being, the energy of your mind to very specifics and be on purpose with your attitude and with your action, with your feelings, your attitude, and your actions. You must be on purpose. I just ask yourself this other question before I go into step two. What are you thinking about? Like when you're at work, what are you thinking about? As you might say, I'm working 12 hour days, Silas, I don't have time. You do. What are you thinking about when you're at work? There are lots of moments throughout the day that you have an opportunity to just think random thoughts. You're thinking about your coworkers, you're thinking about drama, you're thinking about what you're gonna do later. You're thinking about everything except for this one thing that you really wanna create. If you really wanna attract something or draw something or bring it into your life, you should be thinking about it. Are you worrying? If you're wanting to attract wealth, but you're sitting there worrying about how to pay your bills, you're living with a lack mentality and you're actually sabotaging your existence. You're sabotaging what you want to create. Check out the, the video I did on paradoxical intent right here. It's going to be powerful. It's going to change your life. The one thing that you must not do if you want to attract the life of your dreams. So what you're thinking about, this is where, this is how you determine what you're giving your energy to, what you really desire. If you're spending a lot of time in the negative energy of worry or a fear, 
You've given your energy to that. You're just letting your mind treat you like a slave ass bitch. So stop, cut all that shit out and start really giving yourself and your energy to being on purpose. Step number two, what do you want to create right now, today? Let's stop with all the um, uh, three year goals or 12 month goals. I want you right now, I want you to write down three things, okay, three things. I want you to write down what you want to create right now, today. Be specific. What do you want to create today? So in other words, let me give you an example. If you're wanting to attract uh, a loving, kind, gorgeous woman into your life, then be loving, kind, and gorgeous. And how do you begin to be loving, kind, and gorgeous? You start to focus on those qualities. Give your energy to those qualities. Start working out. Start engaging your body. Start engaging your mind in, in uh, to really falling in love, being loving, being kind, being generous. And you start to give your energy to those qualities. And so you might not, you're not going to say, I want this today. I, don't, I want to attract the, the love of my life today. No, don't say that. Find out the specific qualities of the person you want to attract. And then what you're going to do is you're going to actually start to, today, I'm going to start to manifest one of these qualities. And give your energy, be on purpose, and be specific to one of those qualities. Then the second thing I want you to do is I want you to write down a three-month dream line. Um, dream lines are really important for more information. Um, uh, go, go check out some of my previous videos. But three month dream line and then a six month dream line. Now these are, now we're getting more specific, but, but think outside of the box. Be big on these dream lines, be big. Don't go small, be big. And then you immediately start to act upon them. But the action starts today, it starts right now. And so again, if I'm wanting to attract wealth, then I know there's one thing that I can begin to do. I'm gonna begin to feel, I'm gonna focus all my attention on feeling wealthy. No matter what's going on in my circumstances, I'm going to give all of my attention to feeling wealthy. As I'm giving all of my focus and all of my attention to feeling wealthy, I know that this is one step towards creating or attracting the wealth in my life. Be on purpose with your energy. Step number three, don't ever focus on the problem. There's this old line in the movie Patch Adams, classic movie. If you haven't watched it, strongly recommend it. It's just a good film. But Patch Adams in this movie, he's uh, he admits himself into a mental institution because he was very suicidal. It's played by the role of Robin Williams, and he meets this mathematician genius in the mental institution. But the guy's kind of lost his mind a little bit, and he's sitting. He Patch Adams walks by this guy's room, and he's this this man, this mathematician, is sitting in his room, and he's doing these equations, and he's kind of gone mad. And he's like, ah. Ah, uh, four, four. And he's saying all these, uh, four. And Patch Adams walks in and he goes, what's the answer to the question? And he grabs his hand. He says, how many fingers do you see? And Patch Adams looks at him. He says, I see five fingers. And he goes, no, no, no. How many fingers? He says, you can never solve a, solve a problem by looking at the problem. How many fingers do you see? Patch Adams kind of pulls back and he says, eight and, and the mathematician says, yes, this is a great answer. It's a great answer. Moral of the story, and oh, I went into all that, <laughs> but moral of the story is this. Don't focus on the problem. You're looking at your life. You're saying, how can I create a billion dollars? I'm a janitor at a local high school. You're looking at the problem. The problem will work itself out on its own. You must begin to give your energy to the keys that I've laid out for you and to creating in this moment, one step at a time, creating and drawing, attracting to yourself. Like energy attracts like energy. All the work of the laws of, uh, of, the laws of energy, of the laws of manifestation, of the laws of attraction begin within your own nature, begin within your own body, within your avatar. So all of this happens within. The more you focus on the problem, for instance, you want to create the body of your dreams and all you're focused on is your current manifestation, good luck to you. Not going to happen. You must focus your energy and your attention on two things. The image you have seared in your mind, what, you're, what you are creating, attracting, drawing to yourself. And number two, you must absolutely focus on 
one positive thing today and moving one positive on purpose thing that I'm creating today to move towards or to attract to myself that thing that I desire. I love you guys so much. Please drop whatever questions, comments you have below. If you haven't already subscribed, do so now. Have an amazing day. And remember, the more you awaken, the more you play.